For this week's lesson, we are going to be making magazine bowls. The first thing you're going to need to do is take any magazine and cut about 25 to 30 or more pages out of the magazine. As we move forward, if you want your bowl to be really colorful, try and choose really colorful, vibrant magazine pages. Next, you're gonna take a toothpick and one page at a time, and we're going to be rolling them into paper straws. Now, you're going to take your toothpick, in my case, I was using a really skinny screwdriver, and you're gonna place it on the bottom of the corner. This is going to help you roll the paper so it's nice and tight. It's really important that as we roll each of these, you're going towards that top corner and you want these to be as tight as possible. As you roll up towards the top corner, make sure that you are keeping a really steady, slow pace so it's the same consistency every single time. When you get to the very top, you'll have a little corner. You can either use glue like you see here or in the rest of my examples, I just used tape because it was really fast and works the exact same. You are going to repeat this process at least 25 times. If you want your bowl to be larger, then you're gonna to wanna to do more. My example at the end of here, you'll see that I used 25. Now, as you're doing all of these paper straws, really make sure that you're taking your time every single time. It's okay if you need to take a little bit of a break, but each straw needs to be the same size. One more thing to keep note of, if you want to see the color of the paper, make sure that the color is face down and you are rolling on that opposite side. So in this example, I wanted to see the black part, so I flipped it over and rolled starting on the other side. And years later. Now we're ready to make the actual base structure of our bowl. You're going to take one straw at a time and kind of flatten the end like you saw me do there and you are going to probably use that toothpick again like you see me using the screwdriver and you are going to roll 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 really as tight as possible all the way until you get towards the end of that first straw. This part is definitely going to hurt your fingers a little bit. You have to make sure that through all of these straws, you have a really firm, tight grip. If your coils, as we move forward, are not tight, your bowl is going to fall apart. Now, as you have about an inch or two left of your last straw, you're gonna take your next straw and you're gonna insert the end inside the opening part. And then you're going to continue to tightly coil around the base. You're gonna be repeating this same style of taking your new straw, sticking it into the old one, 
coiling really tightly. Now your hands are definitely going to get a little sore, but you have to do this part all in one sitting. So if you wanted to do rolling the straws one day, come back to making the base the next day, that is totally fine, but you have to do this whole coiling part in one session. get to your last straw you're going to use glue if you don't have white glue you can use Mod Podge hot glue anything that will really secure that to the outside edge and you're going to press and hold for about two or three minutes Now that your glue has completely dried, we're ready to make a concave shape for our bowl. So you'll see that I'm taking my fingers and I'm slowly, very, very slowly pushing each individual layer, starting from the middle and working my way out towards the outside edge. And if you go too fast, your coils will unravel. So you're gonna slowly, slowly, slowly just kind of push and expand that coil disc into the shape of your bowl. Make sure to allow the bottom inch of your bowl, like that first couple of coils that you started with in the center to stay flat. That way your bowl can rest evenly onto the table. Now that we have our bowl in the shape that we're happy with, we're gonna take white glue and we're going to add a bunch of glue to the inside of the bowl. 
once you've added your glue, you can either use your finger or you can use a paintbrush to really make sure that the glue gets all inside the cracks, coats all of the paper on the inside, and if there were any holes, the glue will also help fill those areas. Once you finish the glue part for the inside of the bowl, let it dry and then you're finished. So once you've finished your bowl, if you wanna take this even further, you can add acrylic paint. I've decided to leave the inside the color of the magazine papers, but paint the outside with white acrylic. now have completed your 3D magazine bowl. I am so excited to see where you guys take this and can't wait to see your pictures uploaded to the Google Docs.